This is a quick video on the powered lead screw that I modified on my Jet 12x36 BD metal turning lathe. This lathe has a threading screw, which you can see here, and it has a screw that turns and moves the carriage both left and right and in and out. The modification required a small high torque DC motor that I found on the internet. This is a motor out of a windshield wiper of a motorhome. Brand new in the box, around $50. In my junk box I found this activation dog clutch thingamajigger. I'm not sure what you call it. And I modified it to be used with the motor. I mounted the motor to the plate. I turned a bushing for the activator to rotate on and that engages and disengages the gears. I'm not sure if you can see this or not. Engages and disengages the gears. So that if I want to use the standard drive on the lathe itself, I can. I use the simple electrical box with a few switches for forward reverse and high and low speed. That motor, by the way, is a two-speed motor. It's a real advantage. And then your speed control. Inside this electrical box is a small controller that I also sourced off the internet for a whopping $12. The whole system is run by a simple computer power supply that I also sourced along with the control system for a whopping $6. So this whole thing is well under $75. And now I'll demonstrate. Speed is all the way down. We're in forward and high speed. And we're turning. All of the same lathe functions are operable. We can stop and start. We can activate the cross slide. Stop. And we can still use the hand wheel. Well, the controller gives me the flexibility of forward, stop, and reverse. And it also gives me high and low speed. High and low. incredibly quiet. Normal cutting speed is about like that. And you can barely hear it running. And then I can simply quickly disengage. and re-engage. So that's it. I'm going to do a whole write-up on my website rvbprecision.com rvbprecision.com with a parts list and some more pictures on how I accomplished this. Thank you.